Previously on Wheel of Mutt, Papa Meigs dominated in season one. A spectacular, perfect season topped off with the coveted Super Bowl ring. We cannot dwell on the past. A new season quickly approaches, and our father will have to reset his entire team. Does he have what it takes for the back to back? Will he ever clap cheeks like Zach Wilson? Let's find out. What's good, baby? Hey, I'm feeling good, boys. Now, weirdly, I'm feeling good. Usually after a loss, I've got this weird energy, but I'm not malding. There's no malding over here. Game one was amazing. We were able, despite the loss, to hang on to this insane limited DK Metcalf. Oh my goodness. We even went to overtime. We had an awesome game. It was really fun. Things didn't fall in our favor, but that's okay. Is look who we hung on to. This, it's so crazy. He makes Justin Jefferson look shitty. Justin Jefferson is insane. This is quite the card right here, and the animation goes hard. We've also got legend Michael Vick, who honestly kind of sucks right now. Oh, DeAndre Swift is horrible. Give me a new running back, please. Jason Kelsey is our new prestige center, so hoping he gets a new card pretty soon here. O'Keefe sucks too, so I need everything. I really need everything. Micah Parsons, EJ Speed, Logan Wilson, and then uh, Troy Palomalu, our new prestige. He was really good too, but like Palomalu and Micah were anchoring the defense. Everybody else was just like fighting for their lives and it, it didn't work out, but we played pretty good defense in that game too, so I'm not that mad about it. And you know what? I can actually use Justin Jefferson as a kick returner now since he has so much help at wide receiver and i don't even mind if he's fatigued for some plays here and there right and i'm actually gonna go 99 club home i'll see how these unis are wasn't a big fan of those silver and black ones all right boys you know the rules let's see if we can get here i think a halfback is a pretty big priority not being able to run the ball because deandre swift sucks so bad that sucks same with o-line obviously but ooh. You think a halfback could pop out of here? All right, we go over to sets and we can do the best exchange set. So there's going to be like an elite exchange set. They do update this. So hopefully there's a relatively high one right now. Hoping it's at least 85, 86. It's 84, 85 overall. Elite player is the best one right now. So honestly, it sucks. But since I have silvers at every position, it's actually amazing for where I'm at right now. So I get three of these. I would take O-line right now if I can if I can beg. Ooh, Shaq Griffin, 84. Actually insane too. 84 speed, six foot. 84, 85. Number two is... We're building the Eagles O-line. Give me Jordan Mailata. I'll take the whole Eagles O-line. I don't care. And our final one is offensive line. Dude, hell yeah. We didn't get an 85, but who cares? I got exactly what I asked for. Actually, I got that whole 84 O-line, right? Because I got Jason Kelsey. Now I got Quentin Nelson and Lane Johnson. That's like, so, that really is such a massive difference. I mean, since Mike Vick is left-handed, I feel like my left tackle is super important. That's huge. I'll leave Carlton Davis where he is and cornerback two now can become Shaq Griffin and we're cruising, baby. All right, first wheel spin. I thought that was gonna be bad. It ended up being amazing. So I'm really happy about that. Hopefully the second one will give me a choice. Baby, baby. Hey, you're not gonna see me complain about rerolls. All right, I'm, you know, I'm the last guy who's complaining about rerolls. We got DK Metcalf last time from rerolls. So let's see what we can sauce up this time. You know what? I actually like that we got rerolls here again. Sometimes I feel bad if people see me pull something insane, then go try and do it. Listen, I pull so much bad shit, but we never talk about it. We only talk when I pull something great. So I'm actually kind of hoping to set an example that I pull dog shit right here. I technically could go the training variety pack. 80 plus platinum players. I'll get strategy items too though. No, I need to guarantee players. Well, I did do Gridiron Guardian last time. Let's alternate between Kickoff and Guardian. Is there a nice hat back in Guardians or in Ultimate Kickoff? Travis Jones is our first player. What if I pull DK again and then I can't use him? Our second player, Rashid Walker. Travis Jones again. Joshua Williams, we're having a mid-off. Although I wouldn't mind him. He's probably my front runner right now. Pack six, back to Gridiron Guardians. Come on, come on. Shit. Pack seven. Joshua Williams again. Wow. Number nine. Come on, baby. Anything over 79? Hey, that's over 79. Although literally, I think I would take Joshua Williams still. So I get all my silver corners out of there. This is our final pack. Our final player. Those were dog water. All right. Well, Quan Alexander's good, but I don't think he's nearly as important as getting Joshua Williams or Roddy McLeod in there. I'm actually going to go Roddy McLeod. Oh, he was strong safety, but I'll put him at free safety. No way. Dude, he has 74 speed. I take it all back. That is so fucking bad. There's no way I can justify that. Joshua Williams is 6'3 with 81 speed. He sucks too, but it's it's the uh, it's the best of the worst. There's an analogy for that, and I don't remember it. Damn, man. All right. That first one was really good. That second one did not clutch me up, but that's okay. Our third one is yes! Yes! 
Oh, I've been waiting for it. All right. You're going to see my master plan unfold right now. There's a reason I wasn't getting halfbacks before in episode one. There's a reason I've been waiting for the AKA jackpot. And that reason is the best halfback in this game. And I don't want to have a debate about it. A halfback's so good. I literally made a whole video on it. In fact, now that I realize it, my two God Squad players are Seattle Seahawks. Oh my God. He's not on the auction house, is he? He's not on the auction house, huh? That's hilarious. How's he on the fucking auction house? Oh, he is. He's not called Marshawn. He's called Beast Mode. He's on the auction house. Wait. Oh, yep. I'm molding for no reason. This is who I want so badly. Marshawn Lynch, Beast Mode. I have wanted him at halfback for so long. I wanted him last season. I wasn't able to get him. The way this works, if you didn't see my Marshawn video, he starts the game with his X Factor activated for three plays. After those three plays, it turns off for nine. Then it turns back on for three. Then off for nine, then back on for three. And it just alternates like that. So you can't manually activate it. He's already insane as his, like, he's literally insane as his 90 speed, 87 XL, 86 agility. He's so good. 91 truck, 90 break tackle. I'm like pretty Seahawks heavy right now, which is kind of hilarious because when would you ever be Seahawks heavy? This is also the jackpot so I can fully upgrade him. Now we're in the same boat as last time to keep my insanely good Seahawks player. S Seattle Seahawks fans, this is going to be the only good thing that happens for you all season, okay? You guys are, are a dumpster fire over there, so. Who? Are a dumpster fire over there. Are a dumpster fire over there. <laughs> Dumpster fire, dumpster fire, dumpster fire, dumpster fire. I a dumpster fire over there. So enjoy your two God Squad players on Wheel of Mud. I used to be a Seattle Seahawks fan, but I took my fandom to a real organization like the Detroit Lions. So freight train beast mode, it's 5 AP. This shit's expensive, but it's three plays that starts on. I have to go with it because it's, it really is that good. And I'm just going to go bulldozer for when he doesn't have that and potentially arm bar. The stiff arm is really, really strong. I don't know if it's worth two AP though. You know what I'm just going to do? I'm going to do freight train bulldozer. Keep it simple. He's already using six AP, which is a lot. And yeah, he's just such a savage. I'm so happy to have this card, dude. So that's our final spin. We will most definitely have to move shit around though now because Marshawn is going to eat up a lot of AP. I think I'll take some abilities off of Justin Jefferson. I, I really do feel bad. I'll take recuperation off. I'll take runoff elite off as well. So Jay Jetta still has deep out elite and double me. He came back after Marshawn Lynch, Justin Jefferson. This is going to be the season of Marshawn Lynch. I have to I have to hang on to him. I got to win this game or complete my challenge wheel again. This is going to be the Marshawn Lynch season, dude. Still no D-line. Slightly improved secondary, but not really. Still no strong safety. No fullback. No tight ends. No right guard left tackle. We can actually effectively run the ball. We can, we can effectively run the ball now. It's not going to be really good, but I can do it. Marshawn's just going to have to break a lot of tackles. We are a 78 overall. And once again, a crucial challenge wheel. I'm going to be looking at this challenge wheel same way I did in the last episode, which is if I'm going to lose this game, I damn well better get that challenge wheel. Ooh, that's going to be tough. Last game, I scored 14 points. Every game is unique. Every game is different. Score 31 plus. Ah, that is so hard. DK, Beast Mode, Palomalu. What do you got, sir? What do you got, sir? Crabtree fits. Oh, a Cardinals team. And we're in Cardinal Stadium. Makes sense. All right. Scoring 31 or more is not easy. So maybe the game plan really here is just win. But we'll just have to see how it plays out. Oh, no. Please, no. Not this. Not this, man. Do I have to scum kick? Do I have to go learn scum kick? It's always the start of the season when your team is so many overalls lower and everyone just gets blocked for... Eight, nine seconds. I just don't want to scum kick. Like, I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be this guy. Oh, no, that wasn't scum kick. Never mind. That already messed up his scum kick. Maybe I try that, though. Maybe I go to an edge. Try something new. Okay. I'm liking this. Let's just hand it off to beast mode, right? See what happens. Ooh. You knew he's going to break it. Not sure if this is second and four. Or is this defense? Ooh, okay. Wow. Screaming, super hot, four-man rush. How did that happen? I got one more play with his X-Factor lit up. I'm going to give it to him. Let's go get a first. Let's go get a first. I can run the ball. All right, so now it's off for nine plays. If you look up there, offensive downs played zero of nine. So, yep, now we just got to wait for him to uh, more offensive downs. And we're back in it. All right, we'll go right back to him over the middle. Mm. And he's still got bulldozer. So it's not like he's ineffective now. He just isn't broken, broken now. Second and three, Metcalf wide open. I'm gonna go right through Buda Baker. Damn, Cardinals think he's pretty damn good. You got Because you got Isaiah Simmons in the middle, Tyran Matthew, Buda Baker, Night Train Lane, Byron Murphy, Chandler Jones, JJ Watt. This might be one of the best themed teams. Oh, and you get Patrick Peterson. Holy shit. All right, co -keefed. Simple. Simple yards. Look at this drive. This is beautiful. Hey, we keep our foot on the gas. Maybe we can score 31 plus. He's making adjustment. Oh my God. You do not know how bad I wanted to throw that to DK Metcalf. JJ Watt comes in hot and we don't get anything out of that, which is a bummer. Looking for JJ to 
Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Great cut. Oh, how is my good accuracy throw missed? How? Explain it to me. I just got, I'm going up top, Metcalf. This is, these, this is my best odds to catch a fucking ball right now. Well, we haven't seen him on offense, so that's good news. He could struggle on offense. 0 for 1 to start out the game, alright. Play action. Throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it. Yes, sir. Shaq Griffin again! Let's go, Shaq! Why did I just say again? He never had the ball on offense. Whatever. Shaq Griffin, amazing work. That's kind of shit I need out of you. Great job. Alright. Like, like, okay. See, so that was the same thing. It just, just worked that time, and it didn't work before. I just, I hate this fucking meta, dude. There's Metcalf over the middle. Insanely good catch. I think this time he will take the slant, which will leave Justin Jefferson open. I think he takes the slant here. Watch, he's gonna, he's gonna peel off to it. Peel off to the slant. <sighs> Linebacker blitz zero. Fourth and nine, need a really big play here. I kind of want to look at Metcalf coming in on this slant. I gotta throw to somebody. Sick, look at that. That's so, it's just like, you're just gaming the system though. You're rushing five against five and Madden just doesn't pick it up. I just gotta play through it. I am on the wrong guy. I like that he keeps throwing these though, because those are not good throws. The dig? Oh, okay, I love that, I love that. Gotta come down with that, Choi P. Third and 10, what's his play? Right here. Ooh, nice throw. Very nice throw. Ooh, rocked! That was my silver, Demarcus Robinson! Great block, Troy P. Inside the lineman! And somebody named Williams is almost gonna house it! Let's go! That's the break we needed. Hey, we stayed composed. Got a little luck on our side. I'll take it. How many more plays? Ooh, this one has two more with the X Factor. Let's give him one. Let's give him one. Yes, sir. You know we're going to break the first one. Second and 10. Tough to go anywhere against linebacker blitz. Dude, there's so many amazing ways to beat this, but it requires running the ball. And I have silvers out there still, so I'm a little nervous, but we're going to try it. Hey. We still got it. Come on. Let's go, boys. Beast mode into the end zone. Seven to seven. I got a little bit of luck on my side with that fumble, though. I don't know if we can consistently get stuff like that. So, I don't know. We're just gonna play a perfect game from here on out. Already made enough mistakes. All right, first and ten. What does he want? Play action. Nothing. 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 Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I knew it. Come on. Let's go. Hard cut, Micah. Damn. Oh, I would have loved to return that, but insane interception. Let's go, Micah. Baited him perfectly. Touchdown here is insane. Touchdown here would be so massive. Do I get ball half? Yeah, he opened the game up with a kick return touchdown. I think I can throw beast mode here. Yeah, I can. Beauty. Great stiff arm. Ow. Kind of figured he was going to absolutely lay the hammer on me there, but great play. All right, well, let's go back to Stretch. Stretch was amazing against us last time. See if he's figured out how to stop it. He'll probably switch up to the free safety to stop it. Hard cut. No, no. My silver fullback. Go block the safety. I'm going to the side it's supposed to. I bet you his user will jump the wrong side. Ugh. <sighs> nice play by him. Damn it. <gasps> let's go. I actually remember something working here. It was Metcalf on just a streak. It's kind of, it's, it's risky. Yep, they're inside. Throw that every time. Yup! Yup! I remember that from last game. The last, last game guy was running the exact same play. Oh, he knows. He doesn't know well enough though. Come on, baby. Come on! Let's go. 35 seconds on the clock. We just got to put it in now. I'm going to run this right side. Actually, no, left side. Let's go. He's going to overcommit. Hard cut. Ooh, nice play. I did not expect him to get that there. Let's call a timeout. Second and goal. God, he loves his fucking linebacker blitz zero, huh? <sighs> Justin Jefferson had his guy. I just don't know if Michael Vick could have made that throw. I probably could have thrown that. I don't know if it was worth risking it, so I'm kind of glad I did not. I'm looking for Metcalf here. Don't know how strong this will be here. Really not that strong at all. Got all the way up there so efficiently, then got boxed. I probably should have gone back to just an aggro catch with Metcalf, but I didn't. I'll take my field goal lead and ball half, and we can come right back to the drawing board and try and get this ball in the end zone. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa,
Now he lit up. I can't say I understand why he did it, but I can say that Marshawn Lynch Beast Mode has Freight Train activated right now. Ooh, and we have runoff still. Oh no, I don't have runoff on either of my wide receivers, which actually makes these plays a lot better. But I'll still take all the yards we're about to get. It kind of works to either side. It works better to the left side. I'm going to stick with the left side here. It's just nasty, dude. Big hit. I'm going to take this to the right side since I think he's going to overcommit and hopefully have a one-on-one -on -one with this safety. Ah, shit. Oh! Great drain. <laughs> it's so bro fucking broken. I'll bring it back right side. Hard cut. Yep. Only reason I don't want to chew clock here is I'm not actually confident I'll be doing touchdowns right now. Great blocks. Great blocks. Right through them! Come on! You'd think you'd switch out of linebacker blitz zero at some point, right? Now these dudes sell out for their linebacker blitz zero. All they know how to do is click linebacker blitz zero and pray. Metcalf right up the fucking middle. I'm just gonna aggro him. Aggro. Let's go! Get the fuck up! Come on! Jump with me! That's on Night Train Lane, the best corner in the game. Go ahead and put red zone threat on him right there, baby. I learned from my mistakes. I'm like Tony Stark, baby. Then we really could put up 31 plus. Two more touchdowns is 31 plus. I also gotta remember Mike Vick. Does, who has my first touchdown right now? How did I just forget who has my first touchdown? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Great tackle. Do it. I know you want to. Oh, the thing right over the middle. Thank God we got to him. He had shit open. Got him! Got him! Third and 13. Up in his grill. He can't throw anything. Oh! Big Dang. one. Oh! <gasps> I got two fumbles! Palomalu Rock, he's gonna quit. He's fumbled twice. He's gotta quit. What, what else are you gonna do? What else are you gonna do but quit? Man? You gotta quit there. I would be mauled. Let's go! So we keep everybody from today's episode and we get a win on the board. Beast Mode is staying. He was amazing. Jason Kelsey quit and Nelson Lane Johnson are staying. Now remember, if there's a rage quit, we automatically get an upgrade for a power up player. That's because if someone rage quits, I don't have the amount of game to even get the upgrade. Right? Like if he plays that game out, maybe I could have got 31 plus. Maybe Michael Vick could get an upgrade, but they stripped that ability from us. So we're going to take our little upgrade here for Michael Vick, which allows me to give him abilities if I want. I actually wouldn't mind giving him run and gun. Yeah, let's give him run and gun. Let's take our ability off Justin Jefferson. Feels so bad for Justin Jefferson right now, but he's getting, he's kind of getting shafted a little bit. So we'll deactivate his ability. We'll put run and gun on uh, Michael Vick. Everything else is looking really good right here. And that was my one upgrade for Michael Vick. Next time he throws for three touchdowns or 300 yards or 300 total yards, he'll get an upgrade. And of course... We get a spin on the rage quit wheel. Rage quit wheel. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I'll take a left tackle out of this if I can. I don't know how possible it is, but if you got something that's got a left tackle on it, 50K choice. I don't think it's going to get me a very good left tackle, but it'll get me a left tackle. There are no 85 left tackles. Oh, there is one. It's Munoz. 85 Munoz, 39,350 coins. That's a left tackle. Offensive line looks amazing. Look at this, dude. Our luck was crazy today. Nelson Lane Johnson. Let's get, let's get Smith out of there. Let's get a tight end in here. Let's get a fullback. And then obviously defense has so much to be desired, but I think we're on a good path right now being one and one. Pretty much the entire defense actually needs to get upgraded other than Troy Palomalu and Micah Park. So we've got like 10 positions to fill there. But offense, I feel good. All right, boys. I love you. Awesome episode. Hey, we're kicking this season off well, baby. I love to see it. Hey, you guys are the best. Thanks for watching as always. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.